a wintry week of weather lies ahead. And yes, many of us are going to see some snowfall. It's going to be hard to pin down the detail. Let's take a closer look at events through Tuesday and into the early hours of Wednesday morning. We flagged up an area of low pressure last week that could be bringing some interesting weather. And that is what's happening. Let's take a look at the bigger picture first of all. There's that area of low pressure heading its way into France. And in fact, the French Meteorological Service have given the storm a name because it's going to bring them some strong winds and some heavy snowfall. Now, we're not going to see strong winds, but just to the north, this little weather feature here is going to bring us some wintry weather on Tuesday afternoon and through Tuesday night. Let's zoom in and take a look at some of the closer detail here. Now, initially, this weather fronts will bring a band of rain that will be turning more and more to snowfall. Now, initially, the snow will just be over the very tops of the Pennines and the mountains in Wales, but increasingly, it will start to come down to lower levels as we go through Tuesday afternoon. So we're talking parts of the M62. Initially, not very pleasant on Tuesday afternoon, but it doesn't stop across northwest England and Wales. It does work its way slowly southwards into parts of the Midlands, snow over the moors in the southwest. So through Tuesday afternoon, into the evening rush hour, potentially parts of the M42, the M5, and uh, even the M4 could see some snow falling for a time. It is moving through. We're not expecting huge amounts of snowfall, and it is a mixture of rain followed by sleet and snow. So it's always on a bit of a knife edge. But as we run through the evening, well, that wet weather and wintry weather will be working its way across eastern parts of England. Again, initially as a band of rain, but turning more to sleet and snow. Exactly how much really does depend on the intensity. For some, it may just stay as rain, but for others, there could be a few centimetres of snow falling. It does clear its way away through the course of Tuesday night, but still potentially through the early hours, bringing some snowfall across the east of East Anglia and parts of Kent. Behind it, clearer skies and plenty of wintry showers packing in across northwest England and Wales, and things may well turn icy. So we do have warnings in force. Yellow warnings at this stage across large parts of England and Wales for that snow and ice through Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. There's also snow and ice warnings on Monday night across parts of Scotland. So we can say that many places will see some snow in the next day or so, but some places won't see any at all. And we're not talking huge amounts. It, because that system is moving through, we're most likely to see just a few centimetres, maybe as much as five centimetres, a bit more than that on hills. But any amount of snow falling, particularly if it falls through rush hour and if things turn icy, well, it could lead to some travel disruption delays on the road and the rail network. Make sure you stay up to date. There is still some uncertainty about the progress, the timings of that weather system as it moves through. Easy to stay up to date. You can do that through the Met Office, through uh, social media, or of course, on our website.